I haven't really been recording much. Uh, you know, sometimes. Huh. Oh man. <laughs> uh, sometimes you just, you know, well, not you, but me. Let me speak about myself. Sometimes I just need like a break, you know, like a recharge. You know, because lately I've been feeling drained, so it's just like I need to, I need to just like not be on camera, not be doing really much as far as like um, taking pictures, recording the vlog, editing vlogs, and stuff like that. Because I've, I haven't even edited the other vlog. Uh, so yeah, you know, sometimes I just need a break, where I just need a recharge. I just need to like just disappear, not really talk to anyone. It's like, uh, uh, my nose is a little stuffy right now, especially been feeling like I need to sneeze. Uh, especially like, uh, this thing that I put up probably a couple weeks ago, where it's just like, sometimes I just, you know, it's, it's a, it's a thing that, uh, Mario said, you know, the, uh, the singer that he said, uh, sometimes I just don't feel like talking to anyone. Sometimes I don't feel like, you know, just being quiet, just being to myself. Sitting, sitting in silence and it's not that anyone did anything to me or said anything to me it's not even that it's just sometimes that's the way I just feel uh, so yeah so lately I've just been like eh you know where I'm just like I just need to recharge I don't want to I don't really want to talk to anyone let me be by myself which that's what I used to do when I was a, a kid teenager I used to be the type so I'm gonna let you guys uh, on this when I was younger um I don't mean like high school days and stuff like that. <clears throat> um, it's just, just I, I, I've always been a person that keeps to themselves. Like as far as like, I don't really have friends. I don't really go out and party, go out to clubs, um, go out and drink at uh, at places like that, you know? Um, and I'm talking about like when I was legally able to do all that as far as like drinking. But like even when I was younger, uh, high school days, really kept to myself i would go go to school come back home do my homework and literally just in my room uh there's there was times where like my parents were like man is, is he okay is he like going through something depression like what's going on because i would just lock myself up in my room and listen to music write poems or you know whatever um <clears throat> so i would do that a lot uh, when i was a kid so even now like that stuff still kind of lingers once in a while but i'm just like okay i just need to be by myself i don't really want to talk to anyone i whatever i don't like my door no more i keep it open um but i literally just like stay in my room um or like listen to music or whatnot do i write not really maybe i should like just write in my journal i do have a journal and i only wrote it wrote in it once back in 2022 um but maybe i should start doing that again uh so yeah that's what's been going on that's why like i haven't put out really anything as far as the vlog goes um so now what i wanted to say is that i got myself something um people are probably be like oh my god he got himself some shoes no not <laughs> nothing like that i need to get myself this um to get uh, a nice nicer look so here we go look i got this it's the look i'm gonna put it boom balder pro because like <clears throat> the thing that i use to cut my hair doesn't really get like all the way down this is like i cut this on saturday and look like it really doesn't get all the way down I like to give you that really actual bald bald look. So I wanted to get myself this to really get it right. And I was doing my research, watched a bunch of YouTube videos and all that. And people recommended this one a lot. It is what they went with. Of course, it's not going to be like how you usually shave it. Like if you were to go ahead and use a... a a razor like really razor like smooth and all that but this will get it as close as possible so i'm going to be using this from now on to just for my hair just for here right for my head um like i said 
I do have hair, but not like how I used to have it. Like I actually used to have like my hair like go across like this, like right here. All right, so of course, yes, my hairline pushed back and everything, whatever, I don't care. Pero ya, yeah, I'm gonna be using this from now on. Y a ver como, como me gusta. It is 100% waterproof. Could go on for like 50 minutes. So, I'm gonna be using this later on today. A ver que pasa. Although I just barely cut this, like I said, on Friday, but still, I wanna try it out and see. Because also, your hair cannot be that long. Um, to like cut it so I'm gonna try it today after I get back from the gym so it's like second week of straight going to the gym first day yesterday that I did abs so right now my abs are killing me I did sneeze earlier today it hurt like hell no me gusto para nada hell no si dolio que dolio dolio that I can tell you eso si um, so yeah uh, so yeah update on everything for you guys so that's what's been going on so i'll see you guys when i see you we used that uh head shaver the remington look nice and clean i just gotta put on you know the this special cream so that way i could control all of this the psoriasis going on but look at it did this thing nice and smooth bald now I'm really actually bald, bald. Not that I, uh, sorry, I'm like looking at the screen that's on the side. Uh, but now I'm really bald, bald after uh, doing that. Cause like I said, using the uh, the clippers, it would just leave like a little bit, like, you know, a little bit of hair, you know, what I would grow on the sides and whatever here. But now, look at that, shiny, shiny as ever. <laughs> All right, I just wanted to show you guys cause I was like, hey, let me show them how it looks now. They're doing that. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. So like I said, right now I'm gonna put on that cream on here. Tolaki should be under control tomorrow and stuff like that. So yeah, let's do that. What a week it's been, let me tell you. Um, Tuesday, Tuesday, uh, had my day off, right? And then woke up to uh, K. Dot, Kendrick Lamar, uh, King Kunta. Uh, what is it? Yeah. So K. Dot, King Kunta, King Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar. You know, Mr. Lamar, Mr. Morale. Woo! Drop the diss track. Ha ha! Towards Drake. Ha ha! Oh man. Look. I'm a big Kendrick and J. Cole fan. I will say that. Drake, yes, I do have his albums. You know, his music is his music is cool, you know? Uh, it's like a bunch of stuff that I've been seeing. It's like Kendrick, be I mean, uh, Drake became like, uh, let me say, a lot of the videos that were saying they were like, he's a hip pop artist, hip hop. Not a hip hop artist or rap artist, hip pop. If you really think about it um, and all that, I know there's gonna be a lot of people out there. It's like, oh, you're being a big Drake hater fan. Da, da, da. No, I've been, you know, I've been, I've listened to Drake. I've listened to all three of them Drake, Kendrick, J. Cole, like all three of them. I just prefer Kendrick and J. Cole. You know, conscious rappers, they really make you think. I like the whole thing of like, if you're gonna tell me something, you know, as far as music goes, <laughs> uh, make me think. Make me really get into it and be like, oh, what do they mean by that? You know, and especially it could mean different things, right? It could be either this or that. But yeah, Kendrick dropped the diss track on Tuesday. When I woke up, I was like, holy shit. Ya se armó. A puro I was like, damn. And then today, today is Friday. Today. Funny enough, today, I was heading to work. I was getting off the train. And I got a notification. Look at my phone. Kendrick drops another diss track back to back. Doesn't that remind you of something? Back to back, right? Back to back, right? He, he does another diss track towards Drake. 
crazy. Not only that, but then now I get that reference of light pack. Your best da -da 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 was a light pack. I get it. Because apparently that guy, uh, what's his name? I know it's light. I think it's dry light or something like that. I think it's called. Come to find out, he comes out saying it. That that guy comes out saying it. Apparently, uh, he's the one that wrote back to back the diss track towards Meek Mill from a few years back. So it's like kind of crazy, right? Um, but yeah, there's that. Um, when I was listening to it, I was like, damn, another one. Sheesh. Um, thing is, I chose this outfit that I'm wearing. This is this outfit is brought to you by uh, uh what's it called? Um, TikTok shop sweater, and of course Nike shorts. I have the sandals on right now, but I right now I'm you know we're about to leave to go for my mom's shots. But I had my my uh, Air Max 90s on not too long ago, but I had the whole outfit on right. Funny enough, I don't know why today I decided to wear an LA hat to work. This was before. This was before the this track came out so i chose this whole outfit right the gray the black the black and white shorts you know and then with the white shoes and of course i was like let me go with just the basic black and white you know hat you know i could have gone with the chicago one or the socks one but i was like let me wear the la one so it's almost like i was kind of celebrating kendrick ahead of time <laughs> before i even knew he was doing a diss track Crazy. Oh, man. Whew. I love this. <laughs> uh, anyways, there's another thing I wanted to show you guys besides talk about that. Look at that. About four minutes of just talking about what happened this week in hip hop. <laughs> in the rap game, you can say. Uh, I got a pair of shoes. Um, let me show you. Look. Bam. All right, nice color. Open it up. Damn, son. Yes, it is another pair of Jordans. All right, the Jordan ones, the Air Jordan ones. This and uh, it's a mate. They call it Mave color, so it's like a light purple color. This is what I got. I still haven't worn the black and white ones. Those are the shoes I wore today, the Air Max 90s. But I still haven't worn those right there. All right, those right there, the black and white ones that look like the pandas. I haven't worn those yet, but I already got these. Now, let me tell you, I got these because these are a backup plan. Let me say this why. So, I just, I'm just gonna keep on grabbing these because these are a nice color, I ain't gonna lie. I chose a good color. Look at that, in the sun, bam. Um, but I got these as a backup because since I'm going to the Aventura concert, I ended up getting some other ones that are also Jordans, different colorway as well. I'll show you that. I'll show you those when they get here, but I got these as a backup plan just in case the other ones don't get here on time because I had a whole issue with uh, with GOAT. Um, the courier that they used lost the package. So I asked for my money back, got my money back, and I purchased um, some other ones. The colorway is a little bit different than the original ones. Not only that, but they were mids. Someone told me not to get mids. After the fact that I purchased the mid ones, um, that was my bad. But they're like, nah, if you're going to go with Jordans, they got to be the high tops. I was like, all right, cool. Bet, 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 bet. Thanks, thanks. Thank you for looking out. Um, so, yeah, so the mids and the high tops, they're, they are called the, exactly the same. All right, the, the colorway, the, like, they're called exactly the same. Well, let me not say the colorway because they're not the same. But the color that they chose to use is exactly the same, except that, like, they switched it. Instead of being that one color, instead of it being black and then the other color, because I don't want to give it away. I need to show you guys. Um, instead of it being, the mids are white with that specific color. But the high tops are black with that specific color. Um, so it's like they switched it up. They switched the, the white with the black 
depending on which one you would get, the mid, the high tops. And they came out exactly on the same year. So I was like, all right, cool. Um, so yeah, so I'm waiting on those to come in. But yeah, those, the ones that should be coming in, hopefully on time, um, those are the ones that I specifically chose to wear for the uh, Aventura concert. But if they don't get here on time, these bad boys right here, back a plan. Back a plan. Um, I have a lot of shoes, guys. I have a lot. There's still supposed to be sun outside. But if you guys pay attention up there to the map, right where it says Chicago, we have a storm, right? So it's literally just passing by right now. It is dark outside. I said, you guys can't see because of the reflection. That's how it is, but you hear that? The thunder? It is pouring outside. It is pouring outside right now. The sun should still be out. Literally, right now it should be sunny. Um, but no, it's pouring out there. It's dark and it's pouring. I got about like an hour and a half left. So hopefully uh, that storm passes through like once I have to leave. And also, ahorita, uh, there's like a little gathering at home. Allá en la casa. Me dijeron que van a hacer unas enchiladas. Mi tía, mi tía Leti. She's going to make some enchiladas. So we're going to have that um, when I get home. But like I said, I hope this, you know, this clears out by the time I got to get up out of here. But other things, man. Yesterday I got... I had to stay up for a little bit because... Uh, <clears throat> Remember how yesterday I was talking about the whole like Kendrick releasing a diss track for Drake and all that? Well, Drake released his diss track against Kendrick. And then like less than half an hour later, Kendrick drops another one. It's like, what the hell is going on? What, is, what the hell? It's like Kendrick bait, baited Drake. Drake fell for it. And... Kendrick released another one. There's a lot of stuff going back and forth in those tracks. Alright. A lot of speculations and all that. It's crazy. If the stuff is true. Oh my god. But. You know. People are starting to find out too. Like. This. If Drake loses. This is third L. Because his first L. That he took. As far as a beef went. Was with uh, Common. That's from Chicago. He never responded to the one diss track that happened, you know, um, like they were going back and forth and then Common released one diss track and after that one, he never said anything else again. Then of course, everybody knows about the Pusha T one. That's the second time he got another L. And then now up against Kendrick, the only time he's won is against uh, Meek Mill. So I ver qué pasa, pero yeah, this beef is uh, is kind of crazy. Like I said, I listen to J Cole, I listen to Kendrick, I listen to Drake. Like I have their albums, I have all their albums for every single artist. Um, uh, so I'm not like, oh, I'm a big Drake hater, like f him or whatever. It's just that, like I said, I prefer myself. You know, everybody has their own preference. Myself, I'll listen to uh, Kendrick first. J. Cole and then Drake Glass. <laughs> it's just the way I, I mean that's for me. That's the way it goes for me. Like I said, my opinion. Everybody else has theirs. Um, but yeah, it's uh it's definitely getting real out of here for them, for both of them. We'll see, like I said, we'll see what ends up happening because it's like I said, it is a lot. It's a lot that got uncovered. If you guys haven't checked it out, go go check it out. <laughs> if that's your thing, if you wanna check out a beef going on. You know, I don't know what's going... I don't know what, what happened. Like, it's like what people said. Algo pasó cuando, you know, the eclipse happened. Como que... After the eclipse happened, everybody hasn't been the same. Like, everybody's acting different. Like, everyone. You know, because then you have that. Then you have the whole Cardi B thing. And then you have the whole... Uh, what is it? Uh, Chris Brown and Quavo going at it. Which Chris Brown killed Quavo. For sure. Hasn't 
hasn't been the same since then <laughs> um, so yeah there's a lot of stuff going on I don't know is, is this cool? I don't know 2024 has been a weird one for sure it's been weird <laughs> uh, but like I said if you guys want to go check it out go check out those tracks and see see for yourself I don't know who side you guys are on hey, whatever side you choose to be on that's on you guys right um, but damn 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 I'm sure it will continue. You see, I made it home. Por lo menos una docena. Por lo menos. Una docena. And then here's the rest of the people here. Since it was raining earlier today, they decided to come out here. Well, they would decide to go in there since it was raining. Uh, but it stopped. Look, no more. It's all good. I'm about to eat. Like I said, they're making the enchiladas. Uh, they're just playing music. I'm, that's because there's a party over there too. You guys can hear the music. So yeah, there's a party. Surprised they don't have it louder. Usually they have it louder. And then let's see, what time is it right now? 10:30. Not bad. Usually they're out here a little bit longer and all that. Just checking my phone because, like, for some reason, for some reason, my notifications don't really work on my phone for certain things. I don't know why, but they don't. So I constantly have to be checking it every single time. But uh, yeah, so. At least I'm home. Ahorita vamos a echarnos unas enchiladas bien buenas con salsita y todo, todo, the toppings. She makes them. She makes some pretty bomb enchiladas. I can tell you that for sure. Bomb. It is Cinco de Mayo, and uh, I was trying to figure out what hat to wear. Uh, I was gonna go with this all black one. Right here, let me get it. I was going to go with this one, but then I realized, look, Nike, the jerseys Adidas, you can't be doing the whole, I'm going to wear Adidas with Nike or wear Nike with Adidas or wear Nike with Puma or whatever other brand. It's either you, you have to choose one, you know, <clears throat> and yes, I do have some Adidas stuff, not as much, but I do have some, I have a lot more Nike. So I was like, okay, what can I wear? So I know wearing this, you know. Mexico jersey soccer and then I'll wear this because it has green on it but yes I know it's a whole different sport <laughs> it's just that's this is the only head I have um so I was like all right that has like green on it so I was like let me go with that um and then right now it's still a little bit cold outside so I mean let me show you the whole outfit first of all see got the socks with the green on it you know dripping down we got the Adidas jersey. We got the uh, um, Jarga shorts. All right. All right. And then we got these Adidas. Like I said, I do have Adidas socks. What I like about this is that it has, like, on the tongue, the Adidas symbol. It actually has, like, a, a stem, a row stem. So it has like the stem of a rose and then the adidas logo looks like a rose um so yeah it has it on both shoes so i'm wearing that black and red you know i always try to match as much as possible as much as possible this is the fit for today and then we're gonna wear this since it, it is a little cold people always give me compliments on this <laughs> on this sweater People like it, so I'm gonna wear this today. You know, perfect, perfect. And also, before I go to work, right when you think, right when you think everything's done, freaking Kendrick drops another disc. Yes, I'm still talking about it. <laughs> Here's another disc. 
uh saying uh, not like us and let me say it's catchy and i'm over here i'm not from i'm not from cali or whatever but they got me like nothing like us nothing like us nothing like us yeah <laughs> uh, so i'm like damn so he dropped that and then today i wake up i'm scrolling through tiktok i get a lot of myself from tiktok i rarely go on twitter just because you guys should know twitter be uh be crazy sometimes they be showing a lot more than uh just the, the typical thing <laughs> so i rarely ever go on tick on uh twitter because i'm like yo twitter just be wilding sometimes um but um what's it called oh yeah so i was scrolling through tiktok and i don't know where it pops up y'all remember when drake said uh like when he uh, when drake said this to metro which is uh metro shut your whole ass up and make some beats he did he did and it's called bbl drizzy <laughs> BBL Drizzy. It's kind of catchy. I ain't going to lie to you. It's catchy. BBL Drizzy. <laughs> Damn, man. Drake is taking a beating. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, and it's a beat. So it's like, I don't even know how he's going to respond to that. Someone said on uh, TikTok, like, I don't know if he's going to respond to it. And if he does, it's going to have to be Drake making a beat. Because... How do you respond to that? Just by lyrics. You can't, you have to do a, you have to do a beat. So yeah, the beef is real guys. The beef is real, shit. Can't catch a break. Each time I close my eyes, like everybody says, each time we close our eyes, like there's something new popping up. Like, oh damn, there's another track. <sighs> Man, hip hop, hip hop, 2024. We're gonna remember this. We're out of work right now. And um, I'm gonna try to see if I can make it to uh, my boy's uh, parents' house because he invited me. But they're doing a, a little like celebration for him since it's his birthday in like two days. Uh, so I'm gonna see if I could make it there and like avoid all the craziness. Cause like I said, come on. Yes, el Cinco de Mayo. It does get kind of crazy downtown sometimes. Although it seems like it's probably controlled because I haven't seen much here in downtown. But when it comes closer to like when, uh, where like my boy's parents live and where my parents live, uh, there's been a couple crazy things going on there. You hear that? Yeah, that. Uh, that's from above we're taking the underground rail the underground railroad the underground uh, um, streets of uh, shy town that I've shown you guys plenty of times um, so we're taking that route so now we to avoid all the traffic up top um, like I said uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can get to his parents house because there's been, I've been seeing a couple of videos where there's like shootings going on. So I'm gonna try to stay safe as possible as I can. Uh, and just go there to celebrate a little bit. You know, since I don't work tomorrow. And then, uh, yeah, just in, just enjoy some time with him and his family. Cause uh, that that's, that's my boy. That's like almost like, he's like a brother basically to me. Cause we grew up together. Like since we were like, fifth grade i believe fifth grade yeah fifth grade and then we went to the same high school and all that still kept in touch with me while i was in college and all that um and then you know now he has a, like i said he has a whole family you guys have seen him when i went to go work out with him you saw him a little bit uh, that one time um so hey he's like he's like a he's like a brother to me so yeah i'm gonna go try to see him and see what's going on like i said i had como esta todo ya cuando esté Ya cuando salga de aquí, cause the this underground like uh, like street, all right? The underground city is what I like to call it. The underground part of the city. It only takes me so far. It only takes me so far. It doesn't take me all the way. So, but right now I'm gonna be getting close to the 
to the E-Way, to the expressway. Uh, and see, a ver que. Hopefully it ain't too crazy out there. I am just barely heading home from my boy's parents house. Uh, we didn't drink really like that, like that. I only had like two drinks, so that's it. Um, but it was more like, you know, there's a thing that I like, <laughs> kind of reminds me of like the old days. Cause like since it was at his parents' house that they basically lived there since like, you know, since we were kids, you know, and uh, they've never moved or nothing like that. So it's like good memories. So it was like, it, it was even funny cause like when I got there, I called my boy up and I was like, yo, I'm here. I just, just can't remember exactly the house. I mean, I was stuck between two houses. And I was like, is it this one? And it was literally the first one I, just, I said. And he's like, yeah, it's that one. All right. And uh, he's like, okay. He's like, I'll step out. Cause uh, they were all, they were, they had all gone inside cause it was pretty cold. Um, so yeah, I was just like, dude, <laughs> as soon as he opened up the doors, like, dude, I, like, I feel like I'm back in like, <laughs> back in like fifth grade or even like high school like i said we went to high school together i like we're even high school where like i'm just waiting out here for you to come out it's like hey come on are we gonna go play or what <laughs> uh, so he started laughing but nah man like literally not only that but like her mom had i mean his mom has stepped out and uh when she came back you know, because I was going to leave a little bit earlier. Because right now, I can tell you, it's almost 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Monday. Crazy, right? But um, I was going to leave a little bit earlier. But his mom, when she came back, was like, yeah, it's crazy out there because of all the Cinco de Mayo stuff. And she's like, yeah, it's crazy out there. You know, there's a bunch of people driving all crazy. Uh, she's like, uh my boy wanted to go out to a bar, but I was telling him, like, dude, like, it's Cinco de Mayo. Shit's going to be crazy. Uh, probably shouldn't really go anywhere. You know, why not stay here at your parents and we could drink here, you know? Just reminisce on old times. Just talk it all out and shit. Uh, and, yeah, it, like, reminded me of, like, back when I was in, in school, you know, back, like, in those days, like, seventh grade or whatever, sixth grade and all that. Even high school, too, like I said. Um... Where, like, his mom would, like, care for me so much where to make sure that I was safe at all times. And she was just like, no, mejor está bien que ustedes se queden aquí, no salgan. You know, just wait till everything dies down. So it's like, I said, fucking memories for sure right there. Um, so it's like flashbacks. But yeah, me and my boy, you know, we were just like... We we're just talking all night. We we're just talking and like going through memory lane and like, oh, do you remember this? Oh man, dude, do you remember? You know, when we did all this other stuff and you know, I'm not even getting into too much details of what happened. <laughs> Exposing myself and him, nah, we, nah, 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 nah. Can't do that. <laughs> so yeah, you know, we we're just talking about all that stuff, you know, and having a good time and laughs and you know it's it's a good it's a good to have friends like that like this guy has been you know like i said he's more than just my friend that's like that's like family to me that's like my brother right there you know i've been knowing each other for years like a long time already and um yeah like i said just going through memories and all that it's good you know like i said life is short enjoy yourself with your loved ones friends and all that that's i'm big on that you know, if if I make plans with someone and they end up canceling or I have to cancel um, because, you know, hey, like, you know, I'm sorry to cancel. Something came up with my family, you know, and I hope that, you know, I'm very understanding. I If you tell me that, that like, hey, you know, family is, you know, decided to do something or whatnot, like last minute, I'm very understanding. I'm going to tell you, hey, don't even worry about our plans. You go enjoy yourself with your family. Family is important. And I hope the person would understand me too if I 
say like hey like you know i know we had plans but i'm sorry you know i my family wants to do wanted to do something and you know everybody's gonna get together or, or hey like you know we're throwing a party or whatnot like hey like you know i'm sorry about that Let, let's let's just you know redo this uh, for some other day and i hope the person would understand um so so yeah so like i said it's is uh it was a good time. It was a good time for sure. Like I said, we we didn't drink like that. Well, at least I didn't. I know he was already, you know, had a couple of drinks, but not not me. Uh, I was already okay to drive. Um, Cause like I said, I didn't really drink like that. I don't really even drink like that, anyways. But uh, yeah, um, gonna be getting home right now. Literally, I'm gonna park the car, and then my dad is gonna take it anyways. Like, uh, you know. Man, good times guys go enjoy yourselves with your family loved ones friends you know um life is too short you never know what can happen and try to take it all in take it all in no matter what's going on in your life try to take it all in and be happy because like i said you only live once you don't really get a chance to um redo this basically you really can't you know all right i think that's enough of my uh ranting and therapy and just talking to you guys uh, i'll see you guys uh later like i said i'm gonna get home park the car and i'm gonna go to sleep i am tired but it was well worth it though well worth catching up with my boy we got some packages in the mail and I'm excited. I'm excited for both of them, but I'm more excited about one. And I'll let you guys know why at the end, but I kind of semi opened them. I'm gonna bring them out. Bam. All right. So I'm really trying to open it with one hand. Cause they're in little bags. Well, one of them is I have to make sure I bring it out, out of here. Cause I think the piece of paper has my address on it. So I'm trying to get it out of there. Oh no, I did it. But, <laughs> better safe than sorry. Let me unfold it. Okay, okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I should have probably done this, but it's like, you guys are catching my actual reaction of seeing this it's pretty nice all right i might have to get another one of those in a different color how do i open this one this one doesn't have a oh it's right here <laughs> i wasn't really looking let me put that over there for now all right let me actually put this there we go bam 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 tell you you guys are okay Okay. Okay, son. I bet. <laughs> All right, here we go. I got these from the TikTok shop. I have bought some stuff from the TikTok shop. Uh, pretty much the stuff that I've gotten is, is not bad. It's actually pretty good quality. Um, but here, look. I got this. Boom. This like kind of tie dye uh, hoodie, and it says, "In my villain era." <laughs> In my villain era, yeah. And then we have this one, heartless. Buy him. And let me tell you, the the hoodie is actually pretty thick. It's thick. It's actually like I said, good quality. Like it's nice and soft inside. And I think these are these are actually from the both. Both of them are from the same seller. Yeah. Good quality. I know it's not hoodie weather anymore here in Chicago. It's already getting warm out here. But you can always save these for when it does get cold. But yeah, I do like both of them. There was one that had it had this in like black and red. I might get it 
the black and red one that says heartless right the lettering is in red and then the sweater's black then they have this one that's in a, a kind of beige color and this is in my villain era so it shows off a little bit more right here you can't really i mean the camera you can in person you can't really tell that it says in villain era unless you get really close but still like it because of the color it has it's kind of it is tie-dye it is supposed to be black tie-dye but it's kind of i don't know in camera does it look that way i mean if i'm, if I'm looking at it with my eyes it looks purple <laughs> it looks purple like this looks purple then the, these like darker lines do look black but like it looks purple to me but we got both both of these and that's not it we still got another package um and this one i've been waiting for it I had ordered it apparently i guess look i've been having bad luck with my packages but apparently like i guess I'm trying to see if there's a receipt in there no there's not but i guess the first one that they sent got lost somehow <laughs> um that is not the first time not not from this but like Earlier in the week, last week, because this got had to be resent on Friday. But earlier last week, my package got lost too for my shoes, and I had to um, go to go and kind of get and actually get my money back, and then repurchase the shoes somewhere else. Which those are gonna be in, on their way soon. Pero mira, I'm excited for this because I finally got different flavors of. Salud. The hydration and immunity. This one is the Fresa. All right. So I'm going to be trying that one. And then I have la de mandarina. Ah, I just dropped it. The mandarina. Yes, sir. Pero. Pero. We actually have two other ones. And I'm going to give this a try. Let's see how this goes. But. I also got the energy and focus. So it's basically like an energy drink and whatnot. And this one is the piña. Sorry, my, my, this one made the noise. I didn't fart, I swear. See? That's just my elbow. Uh, <laughs> pero piña, piña mango. Um, 200 milligrams of caffeine, 350 milligrams of D9, I think that's how you pronounce it, and then B6 and B12, uh, yeah, B6 and B12 vitamins. So we got that. And then we got Limonada de Durazno. So we're gonna give these a try. So we got that. Uh, this one also 200 milligrams, 350 milligrams, and also B6 and B12. So we're gonna see. I'm gonna give these a try. I'll let you know because I have had some energy drinks. I had uh, Celsius. Got me all messed up. I ain't gonna lie to you. Got me all paranoid and stuff. So I'll let you guys know how this goes. If this is good or not. I am getting ready to go to the gym. And uh, I'm going a lot later than what I'm used to. Uh, right now, we are actually gonna try one of these the energy focus i'm gonna try one of these and i'm gonna try the limonada de durazno i'm gonna put the camera over here let me just set it down Hold on. so i could mix it uh so i'm gonna i drank some of the water right and there's like a 16.9 ounce uh, we'll see how this goes here we go it did open up all right cool Right in there. Do, 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 do. All right, we got it all in there. Now I'm just gonna close this. I need to get an actual one where I could shake it, you know? Let you guys know right now if it tastes good or not. I mean, I could already tell just with the powder. 
It does smell like Durazno. Yeah, it does. See how it tastes though. Let's see, taste test, taste test. Here we go. Actually, it's not bad. It's not bad. It does taste like limonada and it does taste like Durazno. That's for sure. I was gonna, I was actually kind of afraid that I was gonna be like, Ugh. but no. So far, like the other stuff that I've done with Salud, well, have done with Salud, oh, the uh, taste test that I had with the other stuff, um, it was good. I didn't have no bad experience, re really. But uh, yeah, this is my first time doing the energy and focus one. So it's supposed to be like a energy drink for when you want to go work out. So let me keep on continuing drinking this as I'm getting ready to go to the gym. And uh, I'll let you guys know how it is, uh, if it did its job, if it was good, if I went straight to panic mode, like when I had the uh, Celsius, which I did when I had the Celsius. Oh, yeah, nah, bro. It was too much. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right. So yesterday, I think I might have taken that uh, energy focus um, and drink a little bit too late because last night I couldn't go to sleep. I was like all like wide awake i kept tossing and turning and all that why is it why why is this thing all scrunched up why is it looking weird i don't know why i can't fix this wow whatever um but yeah i think i might have taken that too late um uh, today i'm taking it a lot earlier but we're going with a different flavor we are going with the uh piña mango so we're doing that taste right now I haven't, I've just shaken it up. I haven't tasted it till right now. I'm ready to go well it. It does smell like, it smells a little bit stronger of the mango part than the piña. Taste, taste. It's not bad. I mean, the taste, the limonada de durazno, the one that I got, yeah, that I drank yesterday, that one was definitely a lot stronger as far as flavor wise. This one, very subtle. But yeah, it's like very subtle. That's what I meant to say, subtle, not subtle, subtle. So, not bad, not bad. All right, let me put on my shoes and get up out of here to go work out. Today's chest day, yes sir. Oh, which by the way, I forgot to say, taking this, it wasn't as bad as taking the Celsius. And then also, it did make me hit new PRs. So that's good. So it's doing something. So we'll see what happens today when I hit chest day. Yes, sir. We got a couple of packages in the mail. Uh, first off, I'll say this. Um, I think I had mentioned it last time that I had to get in touch with Salud because my package got lost, right? Well, they told me they got lost. I was looking at USPS and then it was like just stuck in one section for such a long time and nothing about it. So then I was trying to get in touch with USPS and then they were like, well, we haven't gotten it from the, uh, uh, how'd they say it? Why am I thinking provider? Something like that, um, that they hadn't received it yet um, from the merchant, I guess, or something like that. Um, so that they couldn't do nothing about it. I had to, they like, reach out to the vendor. So then I reached out to Salud, let them know what was going on. And then they were like, okay, we'll just resend you another one. So then last time when I showed you guys what I got, I thought that was the one they sent, right? Like the new one, but apparently not. Um, the one I received, the very first one, is uh, the one that got lost and somehow reappeared. I don't know. Uh, so, this that's here is more salud, what they sent me uh, for the other one getting lost. So now I have more salud look i'm over here making a mess on my bed but i have more salud stuff all right same flavor still that i got 
mandarina, the, what is this, piña, piña mango, fresa, and then limonada. So, yeah, I got more salud, but we do have other stuff. I'm gonna open these up, I'm gonna set this down, like so, and I'm gonna open them up over here. I just realized that the thing is going like this. I don't know. But first we're gonna open this, this one right here. I got it off Etsy. I'm excited for this. Look, I'll show you this. All right, let's go open it up. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, it's a lot bigger than I thought. <laughs> oh, uh, espérame, espérame, espérame. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> and move stuff off the way. Hell yeah. I'm over here trying to put it on the bed so now we guys can see it. All right, here we go. Look at this. It is a mat to put right next to it. I can get this old one out of here. Looks ugly. Get it out of here. And then, yeah, it's nice and soft. Ooh, yeah, one with the soft one that they had. In the back, of course, it's non-slip. That's what you guys were seeing. But look at that. Yo, this is gonna look dope. I'm excited to put it right there. You know, let's do that real quick right now. Let me set it up right here. Oh, I already have my Salud Energy Focus ready. Um, but let me move stuff out the way. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Sorry, guys, I have a mess. I have a mess everywhere right now. During the week when I'm working, I just throw stuff around. I know I shouldn't. Sorry guys, I'm still trying to uh, do this. Here we go, look. Right next to my bed. All right. Where my shoes are. Boom. Come in. Nike logo. I like it. I mean, of course, it's kind of folded up there. All right. Let's do a nice little zoom in. See, it's folded like right there. It's all good. It's all good. Barely noticeable, I think. <laughs> but it looks dope. It looks so dope. Oh, well, he's trying to balance it. All right, and then now the last package. Let me actually stand on it. Yeah, it is. Oh, it is soft. It is. It is super soft. <laughs> it made that noise because I'm over here dragging it. But it is super soft. I like it. All right, okay. Now for the last thing. Got this from Stadium Goods. I'm sure you guys could guess what it is already. Look at these. Look at these bad boys. Super clean. I don't know what is it. These are the black, well, white, red, and black. I haven't laced them up since this. I've just 
barely got them today. Actually, all of this stuff I got, just barely got, got in today. Okay. Oh, what? I didn't know they come with two sets of laces. They got the black, then two extra set of laces, the red and the white. Super clean, super clean, damn. Then I still got the black and white ones. Then we got the white with Maeve on it. And then we still got the other ones coming in. <laughs> the ones that I haven't told you guys what the color scheme is yet, but they should be getting here tomorrow, hopefully. Which, by the way, tomorrow's actually um, Mexican Mother's uh, Day. Um, so, yeah, got to do something for my grandma and my mom. But yeah, look at these shoes. Bam, bam, bam. Guys, I think I have a problem. I have an addiction. And not just a shoe addiction, just buying stuff. <laughs> I gotta slow it down man for real I've been saying that for quite some time that I am gonna slow it down and I haven't yet <sighs> it's just once I get into something then I gotta get it and then especially if like especially when it comes to shoes or any type of clothing that like fits me good and it looks nice if I like it I'm gonna get multiples of it different colors and everything so yeah but that's the stuff I got today I gotta clean up this mess, throw out that rug, and enjoy this new one. <laughs> it feels good. It's so nice and soft. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy this for sure. Oh, I barely realize it looks different if I go one way. Watch. Let me show you guys this. This is already a super long video. But no, if I go like this, see that? If I go like that, but it feels good. Feels good. Which, by the way, those shoes, there's still shoes in there. I've only worn those like maybe twice. No more than three times for sure. Three, Trish. But yeah, I'll show you guys one day what's in there. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, look at this. So nice and soft. It looks dope. Especially since I am a Nike guy. So, yeah. Let me clean up a little bit of this mess and then continue getting ready to go to the gym. Today's biceps and back. Whew. <laughs>